Okay, so first of all, we're going to need to strip this wire. This is uh, the smaller of my wires. It's easier to to handle. Some of the newer wild wires have a lot more insulation and frankly are a pain. Um, you may want to pay for an actual stripper for those because um, you're not going to nick the wire as much and it's just going to be a lot easier. Uh, for this I'm just using an X-Acto knife. You got to be really careful. These are sharp. You don't want to hurt your fingers. And I'm just going to rotate this around here. There's a lot of things you can use but I'm finding that my typical strippers like these here uh, tend to uh, eat into the individual wires. So I'm just using this a little bit to pry it apart, not really going all the way down to the wire because then I, if you lose a strand or two, that's just not good. So cutting around a little bit here and then opening this up. All right, so there we go. Okay, so we have the breakdown of the various cables here. I'm going to show that. The breakdown of various cables, but really they come assembled, like here. Okay, so I bought a crimper on eBay, I think, maybe Amazon. Uh, this is just a $20 crimper. They can get very expensive. Hilariously, this was made in, not Swiss, it's not Swiss made, it's IWIS made. I-W-I-S-S. -S. In any case, but it's got very, very precise um, channels here for crimping the pins. So first of all, we're going to do a the female pin here. You load it into this section and sort of come down to hold it. Some of the nicer um, crimp mechanisms hold it for you in the back here. Stick the wire in and then go all the way down. Okay, nicely, I don't know if you can see that, but it's really nicely squeezed down here. So then you feed in, um, this is again the, the female connector and listen for the click. That snaps in and then it's it's locked in and then do the uh, do the strain relief down you can use a tool for this I find the tools aren't working very well so just sort of hand tight if your hands are pretty strong but if you need to you can use a you know uh, some sort of wrench or something like that to make it and there we go so that's the female okay and now we're gonna do the male pin very same process I squeeze a little bit to hold it get our wire you can see I've stripped it in both cases. They say about the six or nine millimeters, about a half an inch is fine. Um, longer doesn't matter, the wire will go into the pin, at least that's what I found. And stick it into there, and then crimp it down. And there it is nice. Here's the male connector. We push this in here and listen for the click. Sometimes the click is <laughs> more audible than other times. If you pull it back out though, it should, it should be nicely tight. And then we do in the strain relief. Again, not using any tools if your hands are strong enough. Otherwise, you could use some sort of wrench there. And that's it. And so here's the two connectors. Nicely done. And you, they sell tools which allow you to open these things. I find that just pinching that is fine. Thanks.